Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about this new Elite Electronic Lock that I picked up from Console Vault. If you're not familiar with Console Vault, I have a bunch of videos that I'll put in the description and it's basically an in-vehicle safe that I feel is currently the best choice on the market for in-vehicle safes. On my personal vehicles, I've installed the Elite Series Lock. Uh, that was what was available as far as upgrades when I got my initial console vault for my Chevy Colorado. But I was online, went on a console vault website, saw that they just came out with this new electronic lock. I figured it would be much more convenient, and I'll explain why a little later in this video, and decided to pick it up and give it a try. Since my console vault that I currently have in my Colorado did not come installed, from console vault with the electronic lock. I now have to go ahead and install the electronic lock myself. And yes, that does mean getting out the cordless drill and making two to three holes in my console vault in order to affix the new electronic lock to my console vault. I looked over the schematics and the paperwork and everything that console vault sent along. There is even a foolproof template to utilize so I feel very confident that it will be a relatively quick job and quick install. So let's go ahead and get right into it. This electronic lock has internal batteries, which is excellent so you don't have to fiddle with changing out batteries, putting new batteries in there, whether they're AA or AAA or whatever it would be. And you could just go ahead with the included micro USB cable and you're able to go ahead and charge your battery. So I suggest you do that before even beginning the install. On the bottom, there is a red and a green and a blue light, uh, depending on what's going on with your operation. Once you hook up your USB cable, this will turn red. It just means it's in charging mode. Once it turns green, your battery's fully charged. And when it's blue, as you'll see a little bit later, that has to do with changing your passcodes and confirming your passcodes. So now that it is fully charged, we could go ahead and one of the first things I want to do is to show you how to change the passcode. So to change that passcode and make it your own custom code, we're going to go with the zero, which is the default. Hold down the OK for two seconds. You'll hear it click. You'll see the little blue light come on. And I'm going to go ahead and give it four ones, which would be my new code. Hit OK. And then one more time, one, two, three, four, in order to confirm it. Okay. And now the new combination should be the four ones. We'll give it a try. One, two, three, four. Okay. And we'll hear that click. And guess what? You're able to open and close your electronic lock. Now from here, you have a couple of guides on how to install this electronic lock so you're easily just going to follow these guides step by step there's not too many steps and it is relatively simple and then there is also another piece of paper that'll show you how to change your passcode and I've already done that but it's always good to have something in case a month from now you forget about it and uh, you could just look this up this information is also available on the consult vault website all the parts that you need are actually all included here also and as you follow the steps it'll tell you how to put this stuff together step by step and as I mentioned it is relatively simple what there is here too is a template in order to make the mounting and the installation relatively foolproof just by sticking this on and matching it up now i'm at my vehicle as you could tell first thing that i have to get out of the way is this little metal tag uh, for console vault because it will be in the way of the new electronic lock fairly simple i'm just using a little bit of dental floss you could use fishing line whatever you have laying around from there i'm going to match up the template and match it up with the hole that's already existing in the console vault. I'm gonna press firmly, make sure everything's matched up. And from there, I'm gonna remove these sticker ends so that I could stick the template onto my console vault so that I could begin the installation. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and get my drill bit. The drill bit sizes that I'll be using are eighth of an inch, three sixteenths of an inch and a quarter inch because that is what I have laying around here. I'm also going to need a Phillips head screwdriver and a 7 8 socket wrench just to make everything that much easier. You could definitely get away with adjustable wrenches and other tools that you have laying around, but this is what Console Vault recommends. So from there, I'm going to begin making a couple holes following the template. And once I have those two holes that I need, I'm going to go ahead and match up my electronic lock with the opening that was already existing in my console vault. 
From there, I'm going to add the spring washer and the collar nut. From there, I'm going to use the uh, screws and the washer and put the screws into the holes that I had actually made with my drill. From there, I'm going to insert the latch and screw that in also with another screw. And from there, my installation is done. As you could tell, relatively painless, even if you have minimal experience utilizing the tools that are required. So bottom line, if you're in the market for an electronic lock, a nice upgrade for your console vault, or if you are thinking of getting a console vault and you want to upgrade to this electronic lock, I can wholeheartedly say that you will not be disappointed. I enjoyed the Elite Lock, as I stated, but a lot of times while driving, and especially if it happened to be locked, I would be fumbling around for a few seconds before I actually got that lock open. And now with this easy to read, easy to utilize, the ease of operating my console vault went up dramatically once I added this electronic lock.